the effects of global climate change are the loss of sea ice, accelerated sea level rise, and longer, more intense heat waves. As the ocean warms, freshwater glaciers around Earth begin to melt at an unseasonable rate, which results in rising sea levels. The fresh water from the melted glaciers eventually runs into the ocean. With the rising of sea levels, salt water can more easily contaminate aquifers. Of all the water that exists on our planet, roughly 97% is salt water and less than 3% is fresh water. Less than 1% of Earth's water is fresh water that is easily accessible to us to meet our needs. According to the United Nations, Water use has grown at more than twice the rate of population increase in the last century. By 2025, an estimated 1.8 billion people will live in areas plagued by water scarcity, with two-thirds of the world's population living in water-stressed regions as a result of use, crowd, and climate change. It happened because due to environmental pollution as a result of human behavior such as littering, but industrial waste treatment, mining, etc. To overcome this problem, there is priority must be done such as preparing a clean water supply. The method commonly used in water treatment is coagulation flocculation using chemical coagulants. Even though it has a good performance in water treatment, they cause some problems that are non-biodegradable, toxic, and can cause Alzheimer. Therefore needed as an alternative to replacement chemical coagulants, there is natural coagulants. Natural coagulants can be used because it contains a polyelectrolyte compound form of protein had the same as the chemical coagulant. The material that can be used as natural coagulants is white popinac, sesbani acids, velvet bean, and semini acids using a dual coagulation system method with a semi-continuous process. Do you want to know how it could be? The water sample and coagulant were put in the reactor one, and then the coagulation flocculation process was carried out. After sedimentation, the water from step one is treated again in step two with the same process. The advantage of this method are to increase the removal of organic matter, turbidity, heavy metals, and contaminated with E. coli. By using the simple method, environmentally friendly, low cost, and sustainable, this method can be applied in society, especially in regions with absolute water scarcity. And with NACOS, we can save the art.